Hello everyone and welcome to a quick flange with Flange Master Tell. My name's Graham, I'm the Flange Master Tell, and I hope as always you all flange it up and remember to bring Tell, because Tells are always useful. And we're doing a quick little quick flange, should be just a nice quick little video here, and we're going to be talking about the review bombing toxicity that's happened with the Nintendo Direct Mini. Uh, review bombing toxicity and review bombing has been going on for a while now and it's something I kind of get but it's also questionably productive and specifically what's happened here is just absolutely ridiculous. So we're going to flange on into it and not waste any time telling you to subscribe and all that which you should do anyways. Thank you. But okay so I came across this on Twitter and this is a screenshot of review bombing on Shin Megami Tensei, which is a game I don't really know much about, I honestly don't care about, but I have nothing against. And for people to be review bombing because they don't like the Direct Mini is just going way too far. And why is this happening? Why are people review bombing? Well, part of the problem with all review bombing is people don't really have an outlet or a means of communication to communicate their displeasure directly in a way that companies can be, they feel like companies actually feel. Uh, not the best phrase in there. But, you know, you like hit them up on Twitter or something and be like, oh, I'm not happy about this. It, it feels like it gets kind of lost in the wind. When you affect a review score, it feels like it's more productive, but it's not really actually, it, it just makes gamers look toxic and mediocre. It's not productive. It doesn't really accomplish what people feel like it's accomplishing, and it's becoming a real big problem. And th this has just gone too far. And we'll take a look at some of the comments on the Twitter posted by at actual zero. And, you know, I'm totally with them. They clearly stated it's a direct mini focused on third-party titles and people... Um had other expectations. No, if they're talking about third-party titles, it's less than 10 minutes. You can't expect much out of it. And I didn't expect much and I'm still disappointed, but that's no excuse for this. And like I said, this does not... Yeah, companies might get the message, but guess what? The guys that make Shin Megami Tensei, they're not Nintendo. They're not run by Nintendo. They are a third-party studio. It makes no sense to review bomb them. When people are having strong emotional reactions, they kind of lose their rational train of thought. I have to admit, I kind of got a bit emotional about um, an issue I was having. I don't really want to talk about it. I'm kind of embarrassed about it. But like, you know, I, I, I'm railing against not falling prey to emotional reactions. I run into that fallacy. I fall into it just as much. Well, I shouldn't say just as much. I try not to fall into it just as much as anyone. I try to do better than that, but I'm just as human as anyone. So I get it. Your emotions run high. You're very disappointed. It's and not yours and you. Um, I got to check my phrasing on that. It's a common thing, but I'm like, I don't want to say yours and you, even if it's understood, I don't mean you. Anyways, so the people that do this, it's just not productive it like it doesn't really accomplish what they think they're going to accomplish and like as we can see in the comments that are very negative i'm not even going to read them you can read them well oh i'm kind of in the way <laughs> i'm in the way never mind you can't read you can't read them I'll, I'll i'll move over and flip around so i'm facing inwards uh transform where flip horizontal there we go now i'm kind of facing more inwards i hope um yeah so I, I guess I'm not facing as inwards as I thought it was. Anyways, never mind. Don't worry about it. Got to zip through this. Um, you, you get you guys can read it yourself. Uh, That's this is the problem. It, it's not effective, and it winds up making people think very poorly of Nintendo fans and gamers when they ha these. And it's quite likely this is a, just a vocal minority kind of situation, but that vocal minority can easily overshadow the less vocal majority. And this might be a contentious thought potentially, but I think sometimes it's up to the less vocal majority to be a, a more vocal than that minority and try and drown them out by being like, hey, you guys are whack. Yeah, that direct was kind of a bit on the weak side. 
but we're not mad about it. And y'all that are mad about it need to grow up a little bit, maybe, and develop some emotional maturity. And like I said, everyone falls into the trap of emotional thinking and letting their emotions get the best of them at one time or another. We're all human, but I mean, you know, it, it's not like your pre-order got disastrously messed up and it seemed like you might not even get the damn. We're not going to get into my experience this weekend. I could have handled that better. There's just no question about that. And also, the, there's another factor too. Yeah, so what if you fell into an emotional abreaction? We all make mistakes, and what matters is owning them and doing your best to do better. But I, I question how much of that we're going to see from a lot of these people. Although I won't be surprised if we wind up eventually hearing stories from people that have review bombed and later on being like, oh, may maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Maybe that wasn't very productive. So I I'm just waiting to hear people talk about things like that, hopefully in the sooner future than the later future. But like, th this is just bad. And it's it's another emotional reaction thing. And also, I want to say it's also a managing expectations thing. But they, they tried to temper expectations and manage them. And I think there's a problem more so with the bigger picture of directs. So that's a huge factor here in that direct has been the thing where Nintendo announces their big things and you get hyped and they're exciting big events. And it, it might have been a bad strategy from Nintendo to even do this direct. It, it might have been a mistake. And that, doesn't ex this do that does not excuse the toxic review bombers. I need to make that clear. Even if, even if Nintendo was in error with this Nintendo direct, that does not give any excuse to the toxic review bombers. Even if Nintendo made a mistake here, those people still are being toxic and they need to get a hold of their emotions and develop some emotional maturity, I would say. But we do still have this bigger picture issue of the whole idea of the Nintendo Direct is these are the big announcements, these are the things you want to hear about, these are... It's supposed to be big and exciting, and I think the Direct Mini is kind of an adaptation to them having a slower year, which in a last evening's video i'm releasing this first thing in the morning on the tuesday after in last night's video or yesterday evening's video um i talked more about the potential for this to be an intentionally slow year because there might be a new hardware release coming and they want to hold back for that and covid probably still did take away from some of this year's releases but I think this would have been a slow year no matter what. And I think the Nintendo Direct is Nintendo trying to adapt to this. And the Direct might be, in some ways, maybe even more for shareholders and um, uh, investors. Because, um, as I was talking about in um, yesterday evening's video, there, there's a factor where they kind of have to put up an image of growth, even if they're kind of stagnant this year. Because with shareholders and all that, if they don't see continuous growth, they think there's something wrong and they're likely to pull out and so on. And it, it's a paradigm that, uh, reading some tweets about this, I think is just kind of spread its way past the corporate thing because I found people questioning like Nintendo's viability, I guess, this year. Um, not the best phrasing, but I ran into people on Twitter kind of questioning just Nintendo's whole flange and being like, uh, this doesn't seem very good for Nintendo it, with the same kind of like vibe and general flange of, oh, if they're not growing and there's not always hype things coming, then something's wrong. And I don't think anything's necessarily wrong at Nintendo. I, I think they've got a long-term plan and they're not necessarily managing the short-term slower year where... People, especially with how well the Switch is doing, people are expecting hype shit constantly. Especially with the PS5 and Xbox Series X releases. I, I think there's this general expectation of hype shit from Nintendo, and it's not being met. And we're getting kind of salty about it. Some, but not all, people are getting kind of salty about it. And I do, as I say, I kind of get it, but we need to get better at handling our emotional reactions when we have them. And it's not a reason to get mad at Nintendo if they're having a slow year and you're not getting every game you ever wished for. 
yeah, it's disappointing. I get it. I mean, th there's things I want to see remakes and releases of that aren't exactly showing up, and that's not a reason to be mad at Nintendo. They they might have some blind spots and not always have the best bigger picture view of what people want and what they expect at times. But they are trying, and they do want to keep us happy. They want to sell us games. They want to make money, and they make money by selling us games we want. But they also make money by having hardware that keeps up with everyone else's hardware. So it makes sense that they're holding it back so they can release some new kick-ass hardware next year. But at the same time, they're just not really managing the slow year that well. And... That's still no excuse for this insanely toxic group of bombing. There's just no reason to be sh shitting on a game or game franchise that was not the most hype thing ever. Um, I don't have much awesome things to say about it. I mean, the only thing I was really hyped about was the Cadence of Hyrule DLC and physical release. I still haven't got around to seriously playing that game, but the little bit of time I've spent, it's like, oh, I need to get around to this. This is good. This is interesting. So, you know, I think they're just trying to keep things going, and they kind of mis underestimated how much people's expectations are a big factor in this. And I think a lot of this does come down to expectations and expectation management. And they did try to, but I, I think they just kind of misgaged the kind of cultural environment, I guess. Anyways, um, I don't want to go on for too much longer. I could rant on about this for hours. If, if you want to get me going on a rant about this hit me up in uh twitch when i'm streaming like i was saying in the yesterday's video going to do some experimental morning streams this week just to kind of like gauge maybe a scheduling change but the full streaming will resume next week but anyways hit me up in twitch hit me up in twitter hit me up here in the comments let me know what you think uh let me know why do you think this review bombing is going on? Do you think my assessment's correct? Do you think it's way off base? Somewhere's in the middle? All that good flange. Flange it up in the comments. Twitter, Twitch, all that good stuff. And if you hit me up on Twitch, you'll probably get me going on a good rant about this. Because um, I, I, I got a lot to say, but this is quick flange, so I got to wrap this up. Anyways, I won't go on about the liking and disliking. Although if you do have any feedback... Um, as always, I ask, please be constructive and respectful and try and be uh, reasonably specific just because it's hard to take action on uh, vague feedback that's not specific. And yeah, let me know what you think. Plunge it up in the comments or whatever. And yeah, I'll see you all later this week, either in the streams or going to have a couple more videos releasing this week. Going to be talking about the Xbox Velocity architecture, breaking down whether that's hype or not so hype. And I have another video scheduled, but my brain just went and I have no idea what it was right now. It's it's in my notes. I I just got to look at what I wrote down, but just I've got another video planned and my brain just went and it just disappeared anyways I, I get brain farts like that there it, it's i've always been like that anyways gotta wrap this up before i just keep on ranting on forever and ever have a good one remember to print a towel flange it up as always and i'll see you later